audience of the IFO show. Today we have two guests who reflect and resemble the startup spirit. They both have created products that are quite well known in the Vietnamese community and I'm very excited to speak to them and they are right here with me today. So hello Nam and Chi. Hi Phoebe. Hello Phoebe. That's wonderful. So so Chi, what do you think about Nam's product, Mocha? And Nam, what do you think about Chi's product, uh, Phở Gánh or, you know, Food Deli as, as the whole brand? Yeah, well, I think it's pretty hard for me to find just only one thing that I like the most about Mocha. But uh, if I have to highlight one thing, it would be the convenience of Mocha e-wallet. So, you know, in the era where everybody has a smartphone, we use it daily and we tend to use it for everything. So Mocha makes our phone even more convenient. So Nam, what do you think about Phu Gang or Food Deli? I, I love it. Uh, street food with Vietnamese culture, cultural traditional value, that, that's great. I, I mean, these days, luckily, most of us can afford normal food. Uh, and it's not about getting more food uh, or, or, or uh, going hungry, right? It, it's about get, getting nice food, uh, good food. And I think food is not only just to eat, right? Food is part of our culture. All right, so to both Chi and Nam, you know, launching a startup is never an easy thing to do. Um, what kind of motivated you to start your own business? And how did you know that, um, that this is exactly what you want to do, given all the risks? Um, so ever since a young age, I always look up to my dad, who is a successful uh, businessman, and I see him as my like kind of perfect role model. So looking at how passionate he was with his business motivated me to become just like him. Uh, so everywhere I go, I try to look for opportunities and I will note down any kind of potential business ideas. And hopefully that one day I can have something of my own. And I think that by practicing that, I just naturally like got hooked into doing business. So yeah, I think, I guess that it's just something that comes naturally. Self-awareness is, to a lot of people, really important. Um, you know, people say that you have to know what you're kind of capable of, the risks that you're going to be taking, um, you know, like the kind of intrinsic contribution value that a lot of the founders want to bring, right, to, to this society. Like, are all of these points really true with regards to the kind of thought process that went through your head uh, as you go about you know starting this it's important to understand and be self-aware as you were implying that we should know with high level of confidence that we can that we can do it because we have what it takes we have the knowledge we have the experience we might need to have the connections in the good sense that, so that we can say connect to distributor or in my case connect to the banks and the regulator to apply for a license you can build a team, you can raise funding. So all of those are difficult challenges that you have to overcome in doing a startup. And before you start, usually it would be good if you have a sense that you can do all of those with reasonable level of confidence. In order to have that reasonable level of confidence, other than knowledge and experience, I think the most important thing is if you have the passion, if you have the right motivation to do that. Um, and and in, in in that aspect, I think, uh, in my personal view, and I think other founders might disagree, I think making a lot of money should not be the main motivation. It could be one of the reasons to do a business. There's nothing wrong with that. But to do a startup, trying to make a lot of money should not be the main reason. Definitely should not be the only reason you, you want to do a startup. I think self-awareness is very essential for anyone who wants to start their first startup. Um, I'll tell you about my story. So I had a fair amount of knowledge and experience in FMCG when I was still working in Vietnam. And not to mention that I had a small business before Food Daily, which was not a, a successful one, but um, it's also in the FMCG industry. So which was why I decided to have my startup in this industry as well. So the first thing I did before uh, starting this business is to do a self reflection to assess my capabilities, my strengths, my weaknesses, the risk adversity, so I can make a better informed decision about what industry I would like to start up in. Uh, just like Nam here, having all the degrees and experiences in technology must play a crucial part in his decision of having a professional pathway and startup in IT industry. And I also agree with Agnam, 
uh, I look at startup as the problem solving business. So I don't see business as the profit making mean to myself because I believe that customer never buy my product because it's bring me profit, but they buy my product because it solved that problem. So yeah, I think firstly, you need to um, sell awareness. It's really important. You need to know yourself first. And the second is the values. What problem you're trying to solve, what values you want to bring to your customer and to your society. That's really, really important.